Uh, and I think what's been interesting as I kind of was thinking about like what I want to demo here has been this shift from automation to delegation. I think, you know, automation has been around for a long time and we have this mindset of like, let's automate a process and we'll sit down and we'll think through it step by step and then the computer will go through those steps. Um, and so it certainly has a role within organizations for like following these steps. But actually the power of using AI, I think, is when we delegate it this complete task. Uh, so we hand off this task, like create this system for us. And so what it then does is it takes in all of this context, you know, Rob, Rob you were showing there is like, here's the systemology book, here's processes we've done in the past, you know, here's um, our tone of voice and our brand guidelines. And it takes all of that information and then it goes and creates your process. So it's not like step by step by step by step. It's just taking in a bunch of information, it's doing it for you and then it's giving you that task back. So I think that's that's the interesting thing when it comes to AI is we're not having to like control every step in the process and instead we're just handing over the mental load of like, I need this thing completed for me. Here's everything that you should know about it. And then it can go off and do it. Um, which is, I think, why we're starting to see businesses who, you know, become AI native or like really start um, being serious about how they integrate AI into their businesses are getting this like every employee is starting to get to a point where they're like performing at say three, four, five times better than they were doing in the past. Um, and so that's, it's quite exciting, particularly for smaller organizations. You know, if you've got five people, if you're one person, five people, 10 people, 50 people, you can really start to do things that only large organizations could have done um, in the past.